Hello my boos and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my tanning routine and I know a lot of you guys have been asking about what I use to tan my skin and girl, today's the day. I'm working with Loving Tan today and I wanna say that this brand I think reached out to me like I think half a year ago or a year ago and I just wanted to make sure that when I was posting a tanning video for you guys that I used it for a long period of time and I've been using Loving Tan for I think want to say like a year to a year and a half now so i'm really confident about this product i'm so proud to promote this brand because i really believe in it and i was someone who always got spray tans in high school like i loved spray tans even though they made me orange sometimes like you gotta do what you gotta do being tan for me is so important to me because it just makes me feel so confident and it's like putting makeup all over your body. It's great. Usually when I watch sponsored videos, I feel like I always have like this weird bitter taste in my mouth. Just like have my guard up because you just really never know these days. Um, and I feel like it's kind of evident sometimes that you can kind of tell when some people are kind of exaggerating or even lying. I don't really know. But I'm so excited for every single one of you to try it because it really did change the game for me. I've recommended this product to all my loved ones, my friends, my family. My mom is just hooked on this product. So I'm gonna basically take you guys step by step. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing. You know the drill. So if you guys wanna see my self tanning routine, then just keep watching. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do before you start any of this is you wanna shave all the parts that you're gonna put the self tanner on because it's gonna really make your skin smooth. It's gonna get all the dead skin cells off and I recommend shaving the day before because if you get those like dots on your leg when you shave, the tan really like picks up on that and it emphasizes it. So if you're lazy like me and you just wanna shave right before and you don't really have time, just make sure to splash some cold water on your legs just so that your pores are closed and you're good to go. The next step that you're gonna do is exfoliate and I'm telling you this right now, this is the most important step. This is gonna really make or break your tan. You wanna make sure that you're exfoliating before you put your tanner on. It's gonna make everything look a lot more smooth. So first what I'm doing is basically just going in with my loofah and giving my body like an overall wash. And then, okay, when I was first introduced to this product, this is the exfoliating mitt. I think I'm like more obsessed with this than the actual tanning products because I've never seen anything like this before. And this makes it so easy to take off the tan. Not only does it do a really, really good job of exfoliating your skin before you put your tanner on, if you already have tanner on and it's like really hard to get it off, even with a loofah, the loofah just won't do it for me. This like fabric, is perfect for getting it off and you just basically have to put it on your hand and just rub in circular motions and it gets that tan off so well. This is like my holy grail product. So right before you start your tan, I really recommend putting some type of moisturizer on. You wanna put it on the tops of your hands, the tops of your feet, your elbows, your knees, just on those areas just to avoid any splotchiness and you don't want too much tan there. Alrighty, now we're gonna go in with this tanning mousse. This is mwah, the best thing, oh, I got lipstick on it. <laughs> this is the best tanning mousse I've ever freaking used in my entire life. It's really hard to find a tanner these days. I know you guys can relate to this. That doesn't turn orange, and this does not turn orange. So this is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. It says it's an instant bronzer, self-tanner, and moisturizer. So they have three shades to this. They have medium, dark, and ultra dark. I've tried dark and ultra dark, so I'm gonna give you guys a little inside scoop. So I love dark and ultra dark for two separate reasons. Dark is more of like that Hawaiian golden tan, and this one is more of like a bronzy, like dark tan. I use this one a lot more than the dark, but the dark is just beautiful too. They both make you really dark, but just in different ways, so it's really up for preference. You can decide which one you like. So like I was saying, nobody wants an orange tan. It's not a good look. This one is very like an olive color. So the reason why this doesn't turn orange is because it contains DHA and urethrose, which is basically an ingredient to not make you orange as hell. A lot of brands tend to have DHA in it and that's why you see the color of it just going orange, especially when it oxidizes. So before I show you how I actually apply it, I'm gonna introduce you to another product that has changed the self-tanning game for me and that is this applicator mitt. Whatever mitt you're using is really gonna have an immense impact on how evenly the tan is distributed on your body. This one has a velvet finish to it and that's really what makes it so easy to apply the tan. It also goes a lot faster in my opinion, so. Let's begin. So now you're gonna apply the mousse in circular motions all over your body. Make sure that you're not missing any spots. And if it's streaky after, which it won't be, because for your information, I just put this on like three hours ago and I haven't even washed it off yet and it's completely smooth and not streaky at all. If it is streaky, don't worry. The second that you wash it off, it is gone and the tan is so gorgeous. 
Another thing that you can do if you don't have time to wait to shower and you're noticing it is a little bit streaky, then you can just take the glove and just go in circular motions and just pat it and that really helps with making everything really even. So for the first 60 seconds, it feels a little tacky so you're just gonna wanna make sure to not bump into anything. After one to two minutes, it's completely dried and it looks so good. Like, wouldn't you believe that this is my natural tan? Like, in reality, I am so white naturally, it sucks. So after six hours, this tan is beautiful and it's ready to go, ready to wash off. Sometimes I just sleep with it um, in like a baggy shirt. Make sure to wear dark clothes because you don't want it to stain your clothes. But yeah, when I wake up and I wash it off, it looks so good. So as far as the aftercare, I'd say that this product lasts about like 10 days before you have to redo it. And just make sure to keep your body really moisturized, especially like on the elbows. And I like to do in between my chest too, and then my feet, etc. Whenever I take showers, I really just try to make sure to not use my loofah. Don't use anything rough against your skin. Just take the soap in your hands and gently wash your body. You don't want to like scrub off any part of the tan. So after you take the shower and the tan is fully developed, it's fully waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that. So they have a new product. It's called the Deluxe Gradual tan this is the nourishing tinted body lotion and it also says natural olive color enriched with antioxidants and it's buildable for daily use this is basically if you want your tan to just develop over time and you want to keep applying it every day this can make your tan last up to about like two weeks i like to apply this with a mitt and it also has vitamin a and vitamin c so it keeps your skin healthy and protects it as well so this next product is the Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. It says it has instant color, satin finish, and a natural glow. I love this so much. This is just like the cherry on top, basically. After I'm done with my tan, I just like to throw this on, especially when I'm going out. Um, it has like a luminosity to it, so it just makes your skin so glowy, especially when you take pictures. It makes your skin look like a baby. This one is good for going out because it immediately dries. I like to throw some moisturizer on right before I put this one on, and I put it on with the mitt as well. All right, so those are all the steps. My last little advice would be to just throw on some highlighter. I like to use any highlighter, and I kind of just throw it on my collarbones and my shoulder area. It just makes the tan look even better, and again, with pictures, it looks so bomb. All right, so this one is for all of you that have been asking me for my tanning routine for forever. Here it is. Doing this process when I'm going out or even on the weekly basis, it makes me feel so good about myself. It makes me feel like I'm glowing, and it really takes that look to the next level. If you guys are interested in buying the mousses and you want to receive a free mitt, then just use code Sigonia, save you some moolah, and also it will really change the way that your self-tanner goes on, I promise. As always, a huge shout out to my boos, my beautiful yous for always watching my videos and supporting me. If you guys would like to be a part of the Fabu fam, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to follow me in between uploads, my Instagram is at Sigoni Lazaroff. And until then, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.